inserting graphics and images into emails. Adding attachments is one way you can include art, images and other files within your email. However, let's say you want to create an HTML email with images and other types of graphics included in the body of the email. Outlook 2013 offers you many of the same tools that are available with other Office programs, so you can do just that. According to Microsoft, SmartArt is a quick and convenient way to create a visual representation of the information in your email. That's a mouthful, isn't it? What they really mean is it's a quick and convenient way to create flowcharts. The SmartArt button is located on the illustration sections of the Insert tab. Let's open up a new email to see this. And click on Insert. Then click in the body of the email. The SmartArt will now appear. Click on the SmartArt button. The dialog box opens, which gives you different categories of SmartArt to choose from. There are lists, processes, cycles, hierarchies, and more. If you have access to Outlook 2013, take a moment to explore the different smart art graphics available in each section. Seeing them all for yourself will give you the best exposure to all the possibilities. You can even click office.com and find smart art graphics that were created by other Office users. When you've found a smart art graphic that you like, select it and click OK. When the graphic opens in your document, or when it is selected, a pane opens up beside it. You can either click on the areas marked text in the graphic or in the pane. Click on these and then type in your text. In some templates, you can also insert pictures. To insert a chart, navigate to the Insert tab and click on the Chart button. The Insert Chart dialog will appear. The chart types are arranged along the left side of the window. Select the chart you want to use and click OK. You can then enter data in your chart in the little table in the body of the email. Whenever you insert a new chart into your document, the Chart Design and Chart Format tabs will open, as you can see at the top of the window. This is the Chart Design tab. By default, it's a tab that you'll see. You can also click on the Chart Format tab, which is to the right of that. Let's take a look at the chart tools available on the Design tab. You have a choice of chart styles. You can change the look and feel of your chart. Use the Chart Layouts group on the ribbon to add chart elements or change the layout. Now look at the Type and Data sections. The Data section allows us to select an existing data set or to edit one. With these, we can change the chart type, switch rows to columns or vice versa, select and edit data. Say, for example, that after we entered our data, we realised that maybe a pie chart wasn't the right way to convey it. We've decided instead to use a graph chart. To do so, we click on the Change Chart Type button and select a new chart. Now let's take a look at the Format tab for charts. Use the Current Selection section to change the formatting of the current selection. Use the Insert Shape section to add and insert shapes. Use the Shape Styles section to change the style of your shapes. You can also change word art styles that appear in your chart. The Arrange group lets you arrange your data and images, including text wrap and position. The size group allows you to adjust the size of your chart in inches. Word art is a very popular feature in the Office suite of software. To use Word art, find a place in your document and go to the Insert tab. Click on the Word art button. When you click on the downward arrow, you'll see the Word art menu. Select the way you want your text to look and click on it. You can now enter and format Word art. Anytime you want to insert anything into your email, chances are good you'll find the appropriate button under the Insert tab. Just remember to click within the body of your email first. If you click on the Insert tab, the picture tools are grouped in the Illustrations group on the ribbon. To insert a picture into the document that you've stored on your computer, move the cursor to the place in your email where you want the picture to appear, then simply click on the Picture button. A window will open, allowing you to navigate to the picture on your computer. Once you've selected the picture, click on Insert, and the picture will appear. You can also insert Microsoft Office clip art images you find using a Bing search and images from your SkyDrive into an email. To do this, click on the Online Pictures button. When you click the button, this window will appear. If you want to search for clip art, type in the description of what you're looking for, using the keywords such as coffee, women, or shopping, etc. We're going to type in coffee. Select the picture you want by clicking on it and then clicking on Insert. To search for a picture on Bing, 
then insert it into your email, type in the keyword just as we did before. Let's do coffee again. We go to insert, online pictures, select the Bing text box and type in coffee. As you can see, Microsoft lets you know that the images shown are licensed under the Creative Commons. Now, as defined by Webopedia, Creative Commons is a licensing concept created by Creative Commons that builds upon traditional copyright practices to define possibilities that exist between the standard all rights reserved, full copyright and public domain, no rights reserved. A Creative Commons license lets you dictate how others may use your work. The Creative Commons license allows you to keep your copyright, but allows others to copy and distribute your work provided they give you the credit and only on the conditions that you specify. For online work, you can select a license that generates some rights reserved or no rights reserved button and statement for your published work. So that's the definition. Make sure you check the copyright to be sure you can use the image. To avoid copyright issues, either use your own images, images that are in the public domain, which are no copyright, or purchase images from stock photo sites where you will receive a license with the image. In addition to inserting pictures from a Bing search, you can also insert pictures from your SkyDrive. If you've signed into your Microsoft account, the SkyDrive will appear here. You can then click on Browse to locate the files that are located on your SkyDrive. Also, if you've signed in with your Microsoft account, you can insert pictures from Facebook or Flickr. When those options appear, you need to manually connect those accounts. Follow the prompts to enter in your details and then click on connect. Once that has appeared, your albums should appear in this screen. Outlook 2013 can also wrap paragraphs around a picture, charts and graphs. To wrap text around a picture or object, double click on the object. The format tab will appear in the ribbon. Go to the arrange group. In the arrange group, click wrap text. A menu will appear. As you can see, the illustrations will show you where Outlook will place your picture. Square means your image sits on the same plane as the text. The text flows around the image in a square pattern. Top and bottom means text will appear on top of the image and at the bottom. Behind text means the image is behind the text. The image looks like it's part of the paper. In front of text means the image is on top of your text. It's the same as if you printed a document and dropped a photograph on top of it. With the Outlook 2013, you can now wrap text around an image as soon as you insert it into your document without having to go to the ribbon. You can do that by clicking on the image and using the text wrap button next to the image that appears. You can easily adjust the colour of any image you place in your documents. To do this, double click on the image. You'll then see the Picture Tools Format tab. Click on the colour button. Choose the colour effect you want to apply to that image. You can also adjust and modify the colours in your image through colour correction. Once again, go to your picture tools format by clicking on the image. Click on the corrections button. Choose a colour correction. Just as you can use Photoshop and other photo editing software programs to add effects to your images, you can also use Outlook for this. Click on your picture to bring up the format tab and then click on the artistic effects button. Choose the artistic effect that you want to apply to your image. In Outlook 2013, you can also attach screenshots to your messages. Let's learn how to do this. Once you're inside a new email or an existing email, go to the Insert tab in the ribbon. Choose the Screenshots button in the Illustrations group. You'll see a gallery of screens. What you see is the other programs that are running on your computer. Choose one of these screens. It then becomes part of your email message. 